this is Lisa and in this video I'd like to show you how I did this pregnant belly cake. It's quite easy, I'm going to show you step by step how I did it and how I did the decoration and everything. So just keep on watching. First I started off with just baking a simple pound cake. So um, if you have any recipes you'd like to, to just go for on some usual occasions just take this one. For me it's just a very normal pound cake sponge cake kind of thing so nothing special and I also prepared myself some Swiss meringue buttercream so that's what you see in the bowls uh, in the down corner okay to bake my my pound cake in I used stainless steel bowls uh, a smaller one and a bigger one I used this one for the, the bigger one I'm pretty sure Wilton does a few um, different sizes of of those kind of uh, baking pans so maybe you just go ahead and uh, google or maybe try to find something something similar on Amazon I know that um, here in Germany we can buy stainless steel bowls from IKEA that are very similar to these ones um, that I'm using and they are ideal for baking and so maybe you just check out your local IKEA and see if you can find any any kind of stuff like this <laughs> um, yeah Okay, you can see that I just, uh, uh, how do you say, um, I just split my cake in two with a serrated knife and now I'm just filling it with a little bit of raspberry jam and um, the Swiss Italian, no, Swiss meringue buttercream this way. Okay, so I just filled it, very simple. Now I'm going to cover the whole thing in a little um, thin layer of the buttercream. So I'm just really not trying to be perfect about covering the whole cake so I'm just trying to get everything on a even and nice and thin layer. As you can see I'm just using a little palette knife kind of thing. If you have just a regular butter knife that will work as well. Okay, to get a nice round shape I'm going to take some plastic kind of thing, I don't know. Um, this is the lid from a cream cheese container. I don't know if you have something similar to this in your state or country. I don't know <laughs> where you're working from. But the thing I'm using is just from is just the lid from a cream cheese container. I'm just cutting off the corners of that thing because the plastic is very flexible but not too flexible like some saran wrap sort of. So it's just uh, stable enough for me to form it with my hands and it's a nice very round shape. After I covered my whole cake in the buttercream, I put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for around 55 minutes to an hour and let it, let it get really cake in my buttercream I'm going to cool it again in the refrigerator for about an hour or even longer now you can see how solid <laughs> the whole cake is and how easily I can uh, take it off my platter and put it on a nicer one so I can serve uh, the cake in a whole piece and not just uh, the three pieces single oh man I hope you get what I'm saying <laughs> um, this step I'm doing right here the one where I'm cutting um, the pieces is very unnecessary. I try to, um, okay, let's just say boobs. I try to cut the, a piece of the boobs um, so they come together a bit more closer instead of being so far apart. So I can push, <laughs> push them more onto the belly. I know this is a stupid, um, stupid explanation, but here you can see what what I was trying to do because I wanted them to be more closer instead of just uh, separated. But this step was very unnecessary. As you can see, I'm taking back the pieces I just cut off and I'm um, trying to fill the hole in the middle I just cut. So um, don't do that mistake. Um, yeah. 
after I filled the, the hole again with all the cake pieces I just cut off I'm going to apply a bit more of my um, buttercream to just uh, smooth everything out between the three pieces of the cake and then I'm going to chill the whole cake again yes I know that's a lot of chilling but I promise you it's worth it because everything is much more solid and stable when you're going to work with it afterwards so just smooth everything out put it back in the refrigerator for about I don't know 30 minutes or less just so that everything is nice and cool then we can work with it very easily okay off it goes into the cooling now 55 minutes nee, 45 minutes later there you go um, I started to roll out a bit of fondant um, with some cornstarch so that nothing is going to stick to my table the fondant that I'm going to use is um, I don't know I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's sold around the world but it's um, Masaticino that's what it's called here in Germany and Europe I guess but um, just use the fondant you prefer that's my choice my kind of choice I'm just uh, I just colored it first um, in some kind of ivory color from uh, it's I think it was Wilton I guess I just uh, colored it in ivory so it looks a bit like uh, skin like flesh <laughs> uh, and now I'm just going to apply this uh, long strip of fondant on the top of the boobs so it looks like the the skin of um, the lady <laughs> um, so half of the boobs and just um, letting it um, I'm sorry it's very hard for me I'm not used to speaking English like this um, <laughs> So I just applied it on the top half of the boobs and I was trying to let it run a bit like up upwards. I don't know, but you can see I just didn't apply it on a straight line because I'm not a fan of applying layers and layers and layers of fondant on top of each other. As you can see right now we're going to take care of the um what's the name of it in English? Uh, the ruffles? Yeah, the ruffles of the um of the t-shirt the lady is wearing so um, those ones are going to be applied on top of the flesh kind of um, fondant and um, that's two layers of fondant already so I was trying to be very uh, smart about it and not apply layers and layers and layers on top of each other as you can see uh, in a moment later I just rolled out a long piece of my fondant again which I colored in uh, in pink from just Wilton, just the Wilton color. Now I'm going to use this kind of um, cutting tool. You could just easily use um, a normal kind of butter knife or sharp knife and just cut long strips instead of those wiggly lines because it will it would work just as well. For um, but it helps make the ruffles look more ruffly. <laughs> I really hope you try you, you get what I'm trying to say. But um, okay. So I just cut my my ruffly lines, and now I'm going to use this kind of tool to thin out the edges, so it uh, yeah it looks like more ruffly and not just so flat. Um, this tool and this whole technique gives gives it a lot more volume, so um, yeah, it just looks a bit more roughly <laughs> I'm going to do that with the um, other strip as well and then we're going to apply those two on top of the boobs oh, man. <laughs> fondant ruffles we just uh, we just made I'm just going to use some store-bought sugar glue which I bought on Amazon so I guess you can find that there too um, if you don't have some special sort of sugar glue you just can uh, take some tap water just regular water dab a bit on so the fondant gets a bit tacky and sticky and then just apply the fondant on top of that it will work just fine Okay, now second coat of my sugar glue and the second layer of the of the ruffles we just made. Apply that on top of each other. Now we're done with that. Next step for me is to um, form the little 
food that's uh, shining through the fabric and uh, the belly, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, I just used a bit of my um, leftover ivory colored fondant, but just use any kind of fondant. It's just so that it looks like um, the little feet of the foot of the of the baby is poking against the belly wall. Can you see it? Can you say it that way? I guess. Um, yeah. So I just formed that with my hands. Nothing special. I think the the shape of the f of the feet food um, is quite easy. So just uh, try your best to form it in your hand between your fingers. <laughs> For the toes, I just draw teeny tiny balls of the fondant uh, between my fingers, my thumb, and my index finger. Is it index finger? I guess, huh? Um, and applied that straight to my cool butter cream as well. It sticks right on, so it's very easy to apply. Okay, next step for me was to take the pink fondant again, uh, roll that out again with some cornstarch, so nothing sticks. Sticking fondant is just a nightmare for me, so I'm very cautious about that. Um, now, for the very fun, um, I don't know how to say it, um, can you say structure? I'm not sure. But um, to make it look extra pretty, pretty and give it some more uh, depth and detail, I just used this kind of rolling pin. I'm pretty sure Wilton and Sugarflay, for example, do something like this. So just um, maybe look on Amazon again as well. Maybe you can find something like this, but it just gave everything a bit more uh, detail and depth. And yeah. So that's what I did here. Now I'm just going to cut my pink fondant strip in a rectangular kind of shape like you like, like you saw and just apply that straight to the buttercream and it just sticks right on there. So again, that's very easy. Smooth it on, but don't press too hard. So the, um, the nice uh, structure, can you say it that way? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so just apply it and press it on lightly. And then for the next step, for the fabric fondant that's laying very loosely on top of the belly, I just used some white fondant, so no color added to that. Wrote that out again. Um, oh no, we're going to uh, cover the boobs first. So <laughs> as you saw, I just uh, rolled out a very rectangular kind of shape. And now I'm just going to cut the excess off first with a very clean and sanitized uh, kitchen scissor, just yeah, regular scissors, but um, watch out so it's very clean. I just use those pair of scissors only for my fondant cake, so it's squeaky clean. Um, I uh, yeah, just just be uh, mindful about that. Okay, the rest of the excess fondant, as you can see right here, I'm just using my little, little blade tool. I think you can say it that way, but you see just a um, sharp tool kind of thing to uh, cut the excess off. And don't mind the um, rough edges we have here now. That's going to get covered with some uh, very nice uh, rose border anyway, so never mind about that. It's gonna be pretty afterwards, I promise you. Okay, now it's the belly part. Um, just roll out your white fondant again with some cornstarch again. Um, roll that out and um, roll quite a big piece of it out so um, you have a lot of um, mm, of excess yeah um, so that it looks very flowy and uh, ruffly um, yeah I, d I don't know how to explain it what but as you can see I uh, overlap quite a bit of the fondant on top of the pink one and this one the pink and the white don't stick together so it, you can manipulate it however you want it and uh, make it look very fabricy and very flowy the excess of the the, the rest of the fondant on the um, on the bottom part and around the belly part I just used a pizza wheel to take everything off and um, the connecting part to the boob, I've just used the um, blade tool again. So um, yeah, there you go. Take that off. And don't mind those, those edges too. We're going to cover them again uh, and make them look pretty. So don't worry about that. Okay, for the other half of the belly, since uh, the belly has uh, two, two sides right here, <laughs> as you can see, I just did the exact same thing. So I just roll out a bit of the white fondant again and um, um, 
yeah watch so that you have enough of the overlapping fondant on top of the belly with the pink fondant right there so you can uh, very really manipulate it however you want and it looks nice and flowy and fabricy and the rest of the fondant the excess one just cut that off again with the cutting tool kind of thing okay the border for the for the boob part i uh I told you about I'm just going to use this rose rope silicone mold yeah I think you can say it that way um, I just bought that on I think eBay or Ama Amazon I'm not sure um, but I'm pretty sure you can find similar ones to those um, easily nowadays okay to use those you just um, dab a bit of your cornstarch into the mold so nothing sticks especially when you uh, get them first they are very sticky and don't release easily so um, be mindful about that and dab some cornstarch on that tap the rest of the cornstarch out again and then you just press on or press in your fondant into the mold then you just cut off the excess I just use a little palette knife a plastic one and then you're going to um, re, re oh, how you say it yeah, you just throw it out, just uh, try to, yeah, as you can see right here, um, try to get it out as gentle as possible. If you have, have problems with that, like I do, um, a nice trick is that you put the whole mold with the fondant in it into your refrigerator again, um, so that everything firms up nicely and uh, it doesn't deform so easily. Maybe that's helpful for you. Um, I should have done that, but as you can see, it's not that bad, so um, <laughs> yeah. Um, for the connecting part where both boobies meet, I just used a different kind of uh, silicone mold with uh, rose again. Pressed that into the mold again with some cornstarch, then threw that out again. As you can see, it's very easy. Um, glued that between the boobs. <laughs> yeah, right here. And um, now we're almost done. There you go. Okay, now the connecting part with the boobs and the belly. Um, apply some sugar glue again or just some plain tap water as I said before and um, to cover that nicely and make it look nice and neat I just rolled out the pink fondant again in a very long and um, yeah, and it's not thin but um, like a ribbon shape kind of yeah you can see what I mean by here by watching the video I guess <laughs> just cut that nicely so, uh, so everything looks uh, very tidy there you go and now I just applied that on the connecting parts of the three parts of my cake and uh, that made everything look quite done and ready and finished and neat and polished so okay there you go very nice cut the excess off again of course on the other side as well and then the last part well, for me was because I felt like something was missing, some depth and some just detail. I just used some um, ivory colored sugar pearls and applied those uh, between every of the roses we just applied with the rose border. There you go. And um, that was it. After that I was done. <sighs> Finally, it's not that hard. M if I say so myself, it's not that hard, but um, it looked very nice. I was very, um, can you say, satisfied, happy with the results. Yeah. Um, the thing with most of my cakes and videos is that, um, yeah, about 90% of my uh, cakes from the vi video are just baked for the video. So after the video, uh, I just cut them right up. One boob was for my neighbors. Yeah, they looked. Uh, surprised let's just say that um, the other one was for my parents and the belly one was for my um, for my husband and friends there you go that's the finished result I hope you like this video I know um, my English is quite rough and um, a bit choppy I know I know I'm trying hard and I'm um, trying to get better at it so um, stay tuned I'm going to upload a few more videos uh, in English and I hope by the time I get my 10th video done, I'm going to be a lot more um, confident with my English speaking. Okay, let me know if there's something else you would like me to know. Write it in the comments below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.